Quest. I've already sent word to the others. Uh, we, are to, we are to rendezvous in Ulda at the, at the Hall of Flames. Let us collect Alphano and be in our way. Alright, cool. Let's go get him. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna have a giant, like, dragon battle. I feel. Oh, yeah, she's gone. Freedom. Cool ass dragon battle. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna love this, aren't I? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're just right here. Okay. <laughs> I expect us to like need to fast travel or go get Alphano, but no, we're we're just here. Now I know some of you could do with a rest. I'm sorry to say the Talafaroi have other plans. Uh, Pagalthun is already under is already under siege. Happily, the Immortal Flames arrive just in time to join the defensive effort, with Marshal Tarrapin as their as their at their head. Well, now, given the fa uh, failure of peace negotiations, I was uncertain how uh, the Sultanate would respond. It is good to hear that Ulda has not abandoned the Yamalja. Abandoned them? We not, uh, did we not profess to be their friends? A hey, nice. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the paladin armor. Your grace. Marshal Tarpin has made pro had made provisions for such, uh, for such exigency. Right? Exigency, yeah. And I was ready to depart at a moment's notice. All that was required was an agreement of the syndicate, uh, each of whom voted in favor of an intervention. Nor is Ulda alone its resolve. The other alliance nations have likewise dispatched their troops to Pagothun. Yet even with our combined strength, we shall be sorely tested, for we face not only the might of an Imperial Legion, but Lunar Bahamut and his draconic horde besides. Tiamat's children. Fight as we may, victory is by no less uh, by no means assured. But not all of that. Not all of the omens are grim. Our forces report that, des uh, despite the proximity to Lunar Bahamut, none of the Amalja show any signs of tempering. Strange. What primal would turn down a chance to claim new thralls? Unless it is incapable of doing so, primals are not willing to serve as a to serve a master, Asian or otherwise. It may well be that Lunar Bahamut dith differs in some fundamental manner from those we have previously encountered. If that were true, anyone could fight him. It must mean others like him would have uh, would have to would have wouldn't have to shoulder the burden alone. Be that as it may, Lunar Bahamut remains an uh, inaccurately powerful foe whom our soldiers will struggle or will struggle to best through mere force of arms. With the aid of the Scions, however, I believe they will fare more, uh, fairer, will fare rather better, assuming, that is, you're ready to take the field. An airship awaits you to bear to the front. Pray set forth as soon as you're able. So is it instance or dungeon? What's it gonna be? I guess we'll see. We'll find out. I, meanwhile, shall continue to coordinate our forces. Till next we meet. May the Twelve's blessing keep you. Alright. Later, Nanamo. <laughs> if it's kind of her to speak with us personally, you may be certain she has no shortage of other responsibilities. Well, I for one am inclined to do, uh, to do so as uh, as her grace requests, lest we forget our, invo uh, our involvement for Dola and uh, Pagothun as reconnaissance. The sooner we save the day, the better their chances. Indeed, to the airship then. Let's get going. So dungeon? Guess not yet. I guess we gotta get there first and find out if it will be a dungeon or not. So where are we going? We made it. Greetings, we've been expecting you. But say the word, and we shall depart for Pagothun at once. 
Oh, right, cool. It is a dungeon. All right. Awesome. All right. I'll get a PF open. If you guys want to join, of course, you're welcome to. Just music. <laughs> Oof. Damn this okay, music this music goes hard. I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the uh, music up. Ah, this is cool. I like this. Say hi to the party. Give me a sec. Give me a sec, give me a sec. No. I must turn the music up. Ah, fuck, I'll do it after I pull these guys. Also, why is my stance not on? Okay, let's keep going, keep going. Oh, right, I gotta do that, do that, okay. I forgot how to play Dark Knight a bit here, give me a sec. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Much better. Slash beach in 100. That should do it. All right then. I will do it. Oh, that's this is all. Oh, that's sick. Look at that view. That's a nice view. Holy shit. The ultra weapons are subtle brags. Eh. I need to use Living Shadow? Oh, fuck off, man. I don't know, I have other- I have other... I got other forms of brags. Right, you go. You go, Samurai. Fuck him up. There you go. Let's see, I'm gonna blow up. Yeah. Rotate the boss. Oh god. Do we go there? Do I not strike the lightning rod? Oh no, I, br I bring my thing to the lightning rod. I see, okay. Cool. Alright, that was cool. I, I, my, my Dark Knight shit's so fucked up right now. I'm just throwing up my game completely. I mean, it's a dungeon. Who gives a shit, really? It's just funny. I thought like I use that. Right. Is that not charge thingy? Oh no, it did, it did, it did. We can just, just kill the boss right here. And it's dead. Look at that chest. Anything special in there, or is it just gear? No, it's just gear. Alright. What took you so long? Oh, is this city in there? Oh, oh that's sick. In trouble. Let's split up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, this is a cool dungeon. I am a fan of this dungeon already. I mean, I don't think it's been a single bad Shadowbringers dungeon that I can think of. They're all just really- oh shit, Emric! Alright, we gotta help the boy here. We gotta help the- we gotta help the boy. Let's do that. Do a little bit of that. There we go. Nice. 
Oh, they go this way. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's cool. All right. I love these dungeons oh, where you have no, to fight beside, the, like, beside the NPCs. Like, Astidian's there. Emmerich, we, we just helped out. What else have we got? Lots of enemies. Let's do it. Oh shit, those are gonna fire. Uh, ah. I didn't look behind me. <laughs> That's a tank problem. And I'm not playing warrior anymore, so I can't just auto heal. I can just press raw I can't just press raw intuition and not care about it at all. Oh fuck. Oh. So this is the boss, is this the GameCube? You just uh, burst. Used all the burst. Press all the buttons we can. Okay. Ah, piece of shit. That's gonna hit me every time, I feel. Every time we get end up getting hit by that. Oh, those missiles even? Okay, I gotta watch like all directions. Okay, let me do that. Woo! Alright, I pop I popped Living Dead, but I wasn't sure if I had to. I hope we can kill it this time. I don't think we will, though, just because we used Limit Break last time. Yeah. Oh, no, we did. Oh, okay, we did kill it. Good. Thank God, that's probably gonna die next time. <laughs> just from just taking random attacks. That was a cool boss, though. weren't all following me. Whoa, okay, okay, that, oh, that is sick. I want to, like, come back to this dungeon unsynced and, like, take, just, like, take pictures of all the places in it. That's how I feel about this place. I just want to take pictures. Actually, I think I'll have to kill these guys. I'll take a picture. Let me take a picture really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, took a picture. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to attack them. Yeah. And go and run around and take pictures with no enemies? Oh, okay. You're gonna have to teach me how to do that eventually. This is a cool dungeon. I think I got the pictures I wanted, though. But I don't, yeah, that's me to do that eventually. All I know is that I can go in unsynced and just do stuff that way, but that's about it. Nice. This is the boss. Fight Big Bahamut. Lunar Bahamut. Yes, we do. Let me take a picture of that, actually. There we go. Easy. God, that's so cool. <laughs> I 
I'll take several screenshots of this cutscene if I need. Like that. Ah, oh, shit. Right, here we go. Bahamut time. I need to remember everything I did in coils. Probably here. Mega flares, dive bombs. Alright. I think I got this. Alright. Everyone ready? Um. Well, great. Let's go. Do that. Here we go. Do that. Okay. I think I did quite alright. And that hit me. Oh fuck, Ockmorn. Oh fuck, yep, yeah, Mega Flares, god damn it. <laughs> I knew there'd be bullshit like this, like Mega Flares to deal with. Okay, okay. Is he gonna dive bomb? Yeah, he is, I knew it. Okay. I knew, it. see, I guess I told you he was gonna dive bomb. I've... I've done Coils of Bahamut plenty of times to know what to expect. I need to use that. I thought just delirium. I need to remember. There we go. God damn. Alright, that was cool. That was sick. I like that. Giga flare. Oh fuck. Uh, make sure I'm healed, please. Nice! Alright, and it's that's the boss dead. Alright, again, okay, I'm- I have, like, slight PTSD from Coils of Bahamut, so I expect it to be much, much worse than what we ended up fighting, but still. <laughs> I was- I was repeating some things. I expected Mega Flares, I expected Dive Bombs. I didn't expect Ockmorns, because I actually forgot that was a thing, but it makes sense Ockmorn was a thing. But we did it! That's the dungeon. That was a cool- uh, that was a good dungeon. Good dungeon. I will be very happy if I get that again in my, in like, my duty roulette or something. The dungeon gets the cow seal of approval. What loot is there though? That's the question. There you go, healer. No loot. I'm out. Later. No cool loot, I should say. No cards or minions or music sheets. We did it. So what's going to happen with Tiamat now? I wonder. Also, let me just take a picture.
Hell yeah. Cool dragon sister. Is cool dragon dad and then is cool dragon sister? Or would it be daughter? I don't know. She's like Bahamas sister, Global right? Warriors. The dragons chose their friends well. Okay, I was supposed to say, who's this? But it's an Amalja. Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds shall we honor their sacrifice. You know, it's, it, it's also really cool that we're like... This past patch and this one, we're like making making friends with the beast tribes. That is cool. It's yeah, it, it feels it feels real nice. Uh, make peace uh, with Ulda then. Nodders. The oh yeah. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And you have proven yourselves worthy of our trust. It is the Garleans who are deserving of our fury. I shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day, and rally as many as possible to the cause. Till we meet again. That's cool. All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, making progress, making the world better. That's good. And thus did we make allies of the Amalja. <laughs> it would certainly seem that way. The Sultana will be pleased. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? Let's do it. Let's go. But those towers are still a problem. So I'm assuming the rest of this patch will be... Ooh, sometime earlier inside the tower. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's like a f flush dungeon. So that's, I guess that's where they took the Amalja prisoners. Yeah. What in Ralga's name happened here? The gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. Quickly, we've got to get them free. Uh oh, security device. No. What have I done? It's too late for them. We're leaving now. Ah, shit. Oh fuck, oh sh No No Don't you dare We came together and we're leaving together Oh shit, okay, so Wow So do these I'm assuming the towel the not towels towers summon fake primals, like the Bahamut, so to summon like a fake Ifrit. Okay then, that's what, I'm, uh, that's what I'm gonna assume the towers do. Well, it would be too much uh, to hope that we have seen the last of Fan Daniel. We have dealt his schemes a telling blow this day, and that alone is, caused to, is a cause to celebrate. 
A celebrate I will, when we received word of Arenvald's safe return. Yeah, about that. Uh, give me a crit. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, go with, NP with NPCs. Cool. When the dust settles. Standing around here worrying, worrying is, is not going to help matters. Come, we must discuss this day's events with Pippin and her grace. Brave scions. Oh. Would, uh, would that I could treat you to a hero's welcome, but I bear urgent news from the... Frosten Tree. <laughs> Your grace, whatever is the matter? As our troops withdrew from Fagothan, they came upon uh, the two scouts sent to the nearby tower. I've yet to hear a full, uh, hear a full account, but it seems that one of them, your friend I believe, had been wounded and was being dragged away by the other. Oh no. I must go. Forgive me, your grace. Can you tell us uh, out of Arnval's condition, Your Grace? The wounded, uh, the wounded scout. Uh, not save that is that is grave. The Kyrusians tend to him even as we speak. Fermi must be uh, inundated with the with the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get it underfoot. Masami, Estinian, would you mind going after Alphano? He may need some support from someone other than me. Come on, Stanion, come with us. Don't leave again. Okay, good, he's coming with us. I was about to say, better not leave. Very well. Thank you. The rest of us will see it so that the relevant pe uh, relevant people know what uh, what took place in Fagolthon. Shit, alright then. Oh boy. Come on then. Not good. Oh, Fordula's here. Let's talk to her at first. Instead of standing there gawping, why don't you tell your friend to stop whining like an like an underfed uh, underfed dog? People are fighting for their lives in there. In there. Another one came to see the lad in silver armor, Master uh, Damalot. Is attending to him as we speak. If it would be so kind as to wait. What did Master Damalot say? Tell me his exact words. This isn't, this isn't helping, Alpha Note. But, you're right. Forgive me. When we said, it, we, we, when we said our, fail, our farewells to Arenvald, I was afraid that something like, like this would happen. But now that it has, all we can do is wait. Dola, have you been waiting here all this time? Oh boy, all right. We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. May we see him? I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Okay, well, I mean, at least he's alive, right? Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... 
I don't know. Perhaps I could have... <laughs> could have Jeez. What? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. People die all the time. For no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. Jeez. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. All life is precious! <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. He's just waiting there. <laughs> You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you lot will be next. And what will become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. Jeez. <sighs> I know, I know. There's nothing more I can do here. Come, let us rejoin the others. Ahem, your grace invites the silence of the Seventh Dawn to join her in the fragrant chamber. Your comrades have already arrived. Will the three of you be, atten uh, be joining them? We will. Jeez, poor Alpha Node. <laughs> He's gonna need me and Estinian to to help him. All oh, right, into it. Okay. Your Grace, pray forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Arunvold. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin. Pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to say. I'm assuming he's going to mention that the big Ifrit that was summoned. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Yeah. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. It is now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Okay, that 
that does make certain sense. It's the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Hmm. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. So a big one right in the middle of the city. Well, the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling. I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. So it's going to be a big gauntlet of primals appear to wield or summons. All approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the grand companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Uh. Yeah, tell me where they are. <laughs> Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. Mm, I don't know. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. Nice. <laughs> it is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarm. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea? May these words ever be our guide, your grace. Alright then, so that sounds, like, it sounds like Endwalker is gonna be a big giant war with these. I doubt we'll, get, we'll take care of the towers this patch. It doesn't seem like that. So probably all of Shadowbring, or uh, all of Endwalker will be taking care of the towers, I'm gonna assume. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. We'll see, though. I mean, maybe. Maybe we'll do the towers this patch. Guess we'll find out. Look at gangs all here. <sighs> right then, unless uh, unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. Poor Alpha Node. That includes you, Alpha Node. Our involved in good hands here. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Let us retire then, that we might re regain our strength and the readiness for the coming challenges. If all in agreement, then I shall let Kryl know to expect us. A hot bath and a hearty meal shouldn't be beyond shouldn't be beyond arranging with the time available. 
I think I was gonna make a phone call. <laughs> it will be good to be ho uh, good to be home. I have some thinking to do. Yes, I'll try asking him. And thank you. I shall look forward to it. Our comrades eagerly await our, eagerly await our return, and Kryl in particular has a few matters she is keen to discuss, one of which concerns you, Astinian. Believe it or not, you will join us, won't you? Fine. <laughs> nice, he's joining us. He's coming home. Really? I thought you said you were avoiding that, that uh, Baldessian woman. If I refused, she would only pursue me. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, I love Astinian. <laughs> He's just so blunt with everything. I love it. Rising stones. Let's get back home. Ugh. This has been just, I don't know, a lot of fun. Been real cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of this expansion. Yeah, as, as I don't know. I'm. It's exciting. I'm finishing Shadowbringers today. This is cool. Get to start Endwalker soon. Cutscene right away. Yep, cutscene right away. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings. And what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald? Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. Oh, whoa. Asking for help from... It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. <laughs> so Kral's going, going off. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Good question. When? 
Was it when we first went to Shadowbringers? Or was it... I don't know. Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> Honestly. Not that day in the Crystarium, because I was she was talking to everyone, not me in specific. End of the Dragon Song War? Was that it? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I'll just do dots. I don't remember. Is the question truly so vexing? Perhaps you fear I will chastise you for giving the wrong answer. Or was it so long ago? that you simply can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> History shows us that Hydaelyn is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in his judgment. Mayhap she is, but following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own, and as far as I am able to tell, Hydaelyn has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen, but that was not the will of Hydaelyn. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed, and while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Hydaelyn's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Urianger's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Hmm. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. So Kral's gonna go do some research. Oh no, but I was still worried. Resolved though I am to go, Believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again, will you join us? Come on, please. <laughs> please. Do it for Alphano. Do it for your not little brother, little brother. You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow... Your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? Yay! Estinian is joining us. Oh man, okay, I'm happy. If he gets to join us for all of Endwalker, then 
that'll make that'll make me very very happy. <laughs> he gets to just be our cool dragoon friend. Okay. Thank you, Estinian. <laughs> Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. <laughs> and now I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. All right, off Cryle goes. Tatara waving by. <laughs> I guess the I guess her and Tatara have been like stuck in here for so long. Ooh, Imperial Palace. All right. Let's see what happens. Exciting. Let's see. Whoa! What is? A lot of weapons. There's like a Nidhog greatsword. Is he is is Zeus just trying to find a new weapon to use? <laughs> well, does this one meet with your approval? <laughs> so fan, so defend them. Just give him a bunch of weapons. <laughs> Apparently not. Or could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? <laughs> You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merosidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. I'm assuming the weapons. I'm assuming it's like the emerald weapon, great sword. That's like the tome, level fifty tome, great sword you can buy from like the merchant of the capital cities. <laughs> just with just a bunch of random weapons throughout the game, just oh, thrown in here. But the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Speaking of preparations. Is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you-know-what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. Hmm. I think it was sweet, that's a cool shot. <laughs> a mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. <laughs> there is one that I have been meaning to test. What are you gonna pick? What weapons are you gonna use? Well, well, not quite what I was expecting, though I will say, it does seem rather apt. What's he picking? Oh, well, I guess we don't know. <laughs> I guess we won't know just yet what he's picking. Oh, well. I talked to Tataru. It looks like I'm going to, I'm going to have to be, uh, going to, have to be a. It looks like I'm going to have a busy few moons. Not that they've ever seemed to be anything. I'll never know. When am I going to watch the Endwalker trailer? After I finish Diamond Weapon, because there's still, um, there's still 
the last part of the near raid to finish as well as diamond weapon like story and extreme so after i finish diamond weapon extreme and if i end up getting lucky with the mount uh and we get it uh after i get the mount get the final like dragon for Shadowbringers. Before I end stream, I will watch the trailer as the last thing. Excuse me, experience? Well, I don't know. I've been opening this main menu for this past year and a half. <laughs> but, yeah. So we'll, we will watch the trailer after I finish Diamond Weapon. So, that will be... It will be the last thing... Yeah, it will be the last thing we do right before I stream again to do the Endwalker MSQ. Uh, Thangrid's got me dispatching troops to every corner of the realm. Which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance. Because I do, but when it comes to putting down primals, nobody does it better than us. Well then, uh, well then, you lot more accurately. You won't catch me trading blows with a primal in the near future. But for every fell fiend you vanquish, there's countless me uh, countless meals to arrange, baths to fill, sheets to wash, stores to replenish, and the list goes on. Which is where I come in, and gladly, mind you, it's the least I can do to support the scions who risk life and limb, life life and limb, like poor Arnvald. Uh, I wish there was something I, uh, something we could do for him. We just have to settle for saying the odd prayer and keeping a roof over our heads. It wouldn't do to have him come back to a complete uh, to back to a complete shambles, now would it? But that's enough of my rambling. Off you go and get some rest. If there are any developments, I promise you'll be the first to know. Turn the quest in. Not for not. That can't be the last bit. I because th isn't this patch like? cut up into two parts. I gotta check uh, this real real quick. Sounds good? Sounds good? Alright, perfect then. Alright then. Uh, let me clear my inventory out a little bit then. Then, yeah, cool. This wraps up the this wraps up the MSQ portion of the stream. Time to do some cool side content. So, 